Look over my shoulder and watch as I create two 30-second nature observations for nature's wild things. See my workflow process for transforming raw video footage into something ready for publishing. This raw video is from a photo walk on July 11, 2016 in Cabarrus County, North Carolina, United States. The walk is around a big box store parking lot retention pond. The 30-second nature videos we create today are of an eastern tiger swallowtail butterfly nectaring on a bull thistle bulb. Let's watch the rest of the beautiful butterfly working this beautiful weed. Well, sometimes weeds are beautiful. I know, I know, it's an invasive plant and should be eradicated, but this eastern tiger swallowtail is loving it. The raw video is running at 100% speed and is 1 minute and 30 seconds long. Let's take a look at what we have to uh, edit with today. Beautiful, beautiful butterfly on a beautiful weed. Well, <laughs> it's called a bull thistle. And yes, they can be beautiful <laughs> and invasive, I guess. Most people try to eradicate them, pull them out, dig them out. But uh, these butterflies seem to love them many other pollinators too minute and a half of video today and uh, just some beautiful beautiful video of this uh, beautiful butterfly working this flower handheld which means uh, the camera's moving around a little bit almost has to he's so uh, tight on the butterfly in the shot that uh, with the butterfly moving around it, it <laughs> it's hard to to track them and uh, I think uh, there's just so so much that he's doing here uh, butterfly lovers uh, like to see the undersides of the wings and the upper sides of the wings so I think one of the videos we do today should show the undersides of the wings here and in this sequence right here he kinda changes positions and I'm saying he I I don't know if it's a female or a male myself uh, right now we might figure that out later and there you can see the upper side of the wings a little bit too the colorations on the lower wings if you've never watched the butterfly close up like this uh, just a couple observations he's using his uh, tongue there to go after the nectar and just look at the the body movement that the the head is going through in the neck area of the butterfly he puts a, a lot of effort into probing deep down into the into the thistle bulb there and uh, just a a bunch of video to choose from here today and if we're going at slow motion I could take and uh, slow down the <laughs> the entire minute and a half clip but we'd have uh, you know <laughs> a 15 minute video and uh, I don't think anybody would sit and watch through it so our goal here today is uh, find some video that we can slow down and see the action and uh, allow us to to really observe what's what's going on here and and how it's all working and uh, I think this is a good little sequence in around here let's uh, 
let's just take some of this starting right about there. We'll make that an in point for grabbing some of this raw video. And uh, let's just grab that as an out point for now. We're going to drag this raw video clip down to our timeline. We're going to expand out the timeline a little bit so we can uh, really see and scrub through what we're working with here. This piece of video, there's <laughs> some a seed floating through the background from uh, an adjacent uh, thistle plant where the flower is a little further along and it's gone to seed already and there goes the seed. I like having that in there. Now our clip is about 12 seconds long. He's really, really working that uh, flower hard. Right about here though, good profile view. See the upper and lower wings. I'm gonna start the video off right about here, I think. Let's go down and grab the video and shorten it up here. Final Cut Pro X on a Mac allows us to really manipulate the video to show people what we want to show them. Let's just see if there's... So far we've got about a five second clip here. Now one of the things we want to do before we forget <laughs> this video is uh, taking along a parking lot in a heavily traveled road uh, area and uh, the audio in this is not beautiful nature but instead it's trucks going by. So we're going to just turn down the audio there so that isn't present and uh, especially with slowing down the, uh, the clip too. We're, we're uh, goofing up the audio so all right let's take a look here at uh, just installing onto this let's click over here and readjust here we're gonna put a, a dissolve at the end and that just takes it to black all right, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna have to do something first before we put that dissolve on there. Um, let's take and make this our thirty second video here. Let's let's stretch this out, and a couple ways we can do that. We can change the percentage of speed, or we can just go in and change the duration here from a little over nine seconds to right on the dot thirty seconds. It'll, We'll see what happens here. Let's just scrub through now and watch this in real time. The idea is we want to slow it down enough that you can really observe what's going on with the butterfly here and how he's working the flower and beautiful upper and lower wing shots here. All right, now let's just uh, readjust the timeline, get it all visible. Just going over there, there seems to be some motion there that would make the observer just maybe a slightest bit motion sick watching this. I'm sensitive to those sort of things. 
One of the options we have here is we can go up into our inspector and we can go to the video end of things here and we can stabilize this clip. Now it might work out to something that is less than what we want but it also could improve it. Let's try it. We can always remove it if we want to. When we go into stabilization mode up here in the upper left hand corner you can see the timer running and that timer basically is telling us that it's reworking the video and it's working with the dominant motion on this video clip. So let's uh, wait for that timer to finish up. Oh, we saw the screen just sort of pop in and crop a little bit there. That crop is usually an indication of how much motion that it took out. Now let's just watch this video now and see if it is more stable looking and less likely to make us motion sick when we watch it. So the trade-off with the, the stabilization is that sometimes it stabilizes the, the object in the middle and sometimes it makes the background things kind of float around differently. But in this case if we're observing and wanting to observe the butterfly I think we can we can say that was an improvement there. Now with that we can lay over our dissolve at the end and let's look at our video that we just created of the beautiful butterfly on this beautiful weed. Okay, I like that first one. Now let's work on the second one here. Using the same raw video, let's take a look. I think what we want to do here is he's flipping around the, the flower there. Let's find an end point before he makes the dive. Right about in here somewhere. And uh, Flipping around and come back up and work in the flower. Right about there. Nope, I think we lost our. <laughs> Let's refind our end point there. Right about in there. There we go. Now, what we want to do is switch to our second video clip here. And uh, we want to grab this segment and drag it down to the timeline. Let's stretch it out on the timeline so we can scrub through and see what we're working with. We've uh, got a pretty long clip here. Let's, let's see what happened here. Okay. Let's start right in around here. Let's Put the marker there and drag up to it. We've just made our, our video about 12 seconds long now. Just see what's hidden away there a little bit. I kind of like what's there. Alright, so let's stretch it out again using the Shift Z on the uh, keyboard. Gives me the entire timeline in the frame here. And uh, let's work at making this about uh, 30 seconds long here. We'll go with the duration adjustment and just put in 30 seconds here. 
let's give us another shift to Z to put her all in the, the spot. Now let's see what we've got to work with here. Got some camera movement there again. Got the beautiful butterfly working. One of the options we have whenever we stretch out the uh, video like we just have, uh, put it in a super slow motion, the, uh, the ends go into slow motion too, which means that maybe we want to trim this up now if we want to really slow it down some more really see what's going on we right before he makes the dive there and yet we want to see him working a little bit <clears throat> now what we've done too is we've we've uh, taken off some of our 30 seconds so let's let's add our uh, 30 seconds back on we had scrubbed off a few seconds of video there. Now, let's click away from there, stretch out our video into the timeline, and now let's watch them here. You can see them working, see them working. We're at 47% speed, so we're, we're a greater than half speed here. Less than half speed. I don't. Beautiful, beautiful butterfly. You can see both the upper and lower wings. All right. Now let's do what we did with the other video here. Let's select it and let's send it through image stabilization here, just to to see what happens. Let's select that and it's going to start going through the process it's analyzing for dominant motion here and it's going to rework the uh, video a little bit to take out the the motion in the background it's a it's not too long a process when you're working with 30 seconds of video but when you're working with uh, five minutes of video um, this could take a while <laughs> So there we go. There you can see the the crop happen at the end, and I believe there was a little more crop there than even the last time. So let's uh, let's get that out of its loop and start it here. There we go, right here. Hmm. The other thing I notice here, watching this is we left our audio up and we can hear trucks going by in the background again so let's let's grab that audio track that's down here at the waveform and just turn her down let's watch some more here okay so we've slowed down the action although he's still moving fast we've stabilized the photo some so now he's more stable and fluid you can see the background kind of moving around a little bit but that's all right our focus is on the butterfly beautiful beautiful butterfly uh, let's take a dissolve and drop it onto the timeline just check see what it looks like dissolve looks good Let's take a look at our 30 second video.